The beautiful Pinjor Gardens, just an hour away from Chandigarh, hide a great story. The tale of how a local king devised a smart ploy to keep the Mughals away. The Pinjor Gardens were built by the Mughal governor of Punjab, Fidai Khan, around 1760 CE. A man with a great eye for beauty and detail, he planned the entire garden and the various palaces near it all around the natural spring of Panchakula. When finally done, the Pinjor Gardens rivaled the other famous Mughal gardens of its time. However, the man who made it didn't get a chance to enjoy it for too long. So, the Pinjor Garden and the palace complex were abandoned just seven years after it was built, for a very unusual reason. According to folklore, the local king, Raja of Bhavana, dreaded the coming of the Mughals to Panchkula and feared that he would lose more land to the Mughals. He drew up a cunning and an ingenious plan to drive the Mughal governor away. In those days, all along the foothills of the Himalayas, cases of goiter were often reported because of the very low levels of iodine in the salt consumed by the people. The Raja used this fact to his advantage. When the Mughal governor and his family visited Pinjor, the Raja collected all the people suffering from goiter and made them appear as local inhabitants of the place. The women of the Mughal governor's harem, already horrified of the disease, were made to believe that the air and water of Pinjor were contaminated and this is why the disease was so common. This eventually created such a panic among the petrified women of the Mughal Zanana that they refused to stay in Pinjor. Fadai Khan was forced to move out of Pinjor and rarely came back to visit the lovely gardens he had so painstakingly planned. Over time, the gardens of Pinjor and the adjoining lands were taken over by the Kingdom of Patiala. The Maharajas of Patiala used Pinjor Gardens as a holiday retreat and lavish parties were thrown here. After India gained independence in 1947, the then ruler of Patiala, Maharaja Yadavinder Singh, donated Pinjor Gardens to the nation. Today, they are known as Yadavinder Gardens and are open to public. But most people who head here miss the stories that make these gardens so special.